Are you interested in creating a fabulous science pitch? My name is Lisa Cornette and I won the National FameLab Science Pitching Competition 2020. In this video, I'll share three tips based on personal experience that can help you design your pitch. Let's start with the very first seconds of your pitch. It's the first impression you make on your audience, so it's important to get it right. Whether you're going to talk about quantum physics or language development, do not dive into complex matters right away. You'll risk confusing your audience and losing their attention. What could you do instead? Imagine that you're standing on one side of a bridge. You're standing there as an expert with knowledge about a certain topic. On the other side of the bridge is your audience. Now your task is to guide your audience down the pathway to your side of the bridge. This might sound a bit vague, but what I mean is that you shouldn't drag your audience to your side of the bridge. Instead, start with making connection to the audience. Start by giving your audience a hand. Now you could do that by starting your pitch with, for instance, a personal situation, a recent news item, or even a famous song. Start with something people can relate to. If you are able to make connection to your audience in the first few seconds, it's easier for them to follow your story. My second tip is related to how you tell your story. Now you could talk about your research in a linear fashion, going from A to B, starting with a problem, your approach, and how your research solves the problem. But how can you keep your audience interested while leading them down the pathway of your story? One way to do that is by posing questions to your audience, like I did two times before in the past two minutes. I like to use this question-answer dynamic throughout the pitch, because this way you make your audience wonder and curious to hear more. It's just more interesting to listen to than when you just give it all away. My final tip is to end your pitch with something your audience can carry home. How can you do that? Try to end your pitch with a message or an insight people can use in their daily lives. Why does your research matter to them? If you want people to remember your story, try to give them something that is personal and concrete. So, next time you are going to participate in a science pitching contest, try to first make connection with your audience and then keep them interested by posing questions. And finally, Give your audience something that is personal and concrete. Good luck.